Hi everyone, Marcel here, and today I'm going to talk about magnesium and how it's contributed to my sports recovery program. Without recovery, even if you're exercising every three, four days really intensely, if you're spending three days recovering and in pain and in discomfort, where's the actual active lifestyle? Like, where are the benefits? Sure, you're going to get benefits from working out, but you want to enjoy that. You want to feel good during the off days. And this recovery program that I've been doing, and of course the dietary supplements and the other things I'm gonna talk about here, all in combination, synergistically, have helped me enjoy way more than I used to those days in between the more intense workouts that I do. And I run 6K and lift weights every weekend, and then I lift weights again in the middle of the week, and then I do a lot of exercises and matches during the week, and I feel great all week, seven days a week. So even though I may be a bit worn down from the 6K run on the weekend, I don't feel bad the next day. Matter of fact, hour by hour during that first day of recovery, I feel better. By the end of the day, I feel pretty darn normal, which is just amazing to me. I wanna talk about the three kinds of magnesium I'm taking because this will help your muscles recover and also help your bones, especially this D3, K2, magnesium. Yes, you've seen me talk about this one. I'm gonna talk about some other ones too in addition to this, but I do take one of these every day uh, from Do Not Age. This has been, I think, quite helpful. It's hard for me to pinpoint how much is doing what, but there are a lot of studies about D, K, and magnesium synergistically being beneficial and I definitely believe it has been for me. Now, the other thing I do, and these came from pharmacists. In Germany, the pharmacists, especially with me, because either the way I look very healthy or the way that I tell them sometimes what I do with my YouTube channel, and I look for natural treatments and natural ingredients more than drugs. I'm not, I'm not coming to them looking for drugs. And so one pharmacist, actually my next door neighbor, who manages a pharmacy, said, you need to be using magnesium oil. And after your shower, at the end of it, rub it into all the muscles that you just worked out and you will find that you'll recover faster. And this is someone who interacts with thousands of people, customers of the pharmacy. So I found it really interesting that she's telling me to use magnesium oil. Matter of fact, she loaned me some because like I said, it's my next door neighbor. We get along great with them. And I ended up buying this big bottle and then there's a small bottle I keep in the shower that I keep refilling. This one is a spray bottle and I spray it into my hand and then rub it into all the areas. So when I'm done cleaning up from my shower, wash my hair, etc., I turn off the water completely and I do this sort of self-treatment with uh, the magnesium oil and rub it in. And I was very skeptical of this. And what I found is you need to do it regularly. And when you do it regularly, I feel a difference. So I found it not too hard to do. I get used to it. It's just part of my routine. After I've rubbed it in, I leave it in for a few minutes. I'm pretty impatient, to be honest, but I haven't found that it doesn't work if I only do five minutes instead of 10 minutes. So just a few minutes of rubbing that in and letting it sort of soak into the skin. Then I take a brief little warm shower again, then I go to my cold shower. The cold shower seems to help me recover. It's supposed to intensify or improve the results of your workouts that you're doing. So I love the cold showers and I love them in the mornings. I love them in the evening, especially when it's hot here in Germany, we don't have air conditioning. So I love the cold shower to get that cool down and it gets me going in the morning as opposed to sort of that groggy morning thing. I love the cold shower. So it has multiple benefits for me. Now, the other things I do to help on those recovery days that I think synergize with these magnesium, and I'm gonna talk about one more kind of magnesium uh, in just a second, is stretching. Now, uh, stretching, yes, I do mostly a wall stretch. I do a nerve stretch, an ankle stretch, uh, the twists and where you turn your leg inward. And I've done a video on stretching here before. There have been studies that show that stretching and yoga enhance the supplements and vitamins and minerals that you may be taking. It helps the body absorb them and circulate them throughout the body. So stretching, very important. If you're gonna be taking supplements, you're gonna be doing diet, healthy diet and exercise, and of course taking magnesium, you wanna get that stretch in. I stretch after workouts, I stretch before. 
This has helped me tremendously. If I forget to stretch the evening after a run, I feel it more the next day than if I go ahead and stretch the evening after a run, get up the next morning, I'm hopping around again, which is pretty crazy. So I've directly tested stretching and no stretching after strenuous exercise and stretching afterwards is a huge win. Obviously warm ups and cool down. It's really important. I run a 6K run every weekend and I'm working on my times again right now. I've gotten back to that. It helps me all week. I can do fitness better all week if I have that weekly run. It's like an investment, a deposit in my energy and stamina for the entire week. But it's very important to have that cool down. So I have that stretching, I have that warm up, and then I walk another 2K at the end of running the 6K just to make sure, and I feel so much better if I don't do that cool down lap, I begin to tighten up. But if I do it, I feel a lot looser and a lot more comfortable after that warm up. I do highly recommend walks in general. Uh, they're like free physiotherapy and they tell you what parts of your body may not be feeling great. So they're very informative when you can take walks, but also getting that strenuous exercise, it helps give you a sort of a dynamic workout. Now, the other thing I do when I'm doing the strenuous exercise, say I'm playing a tennis match and then I have a second match. In between, I'll take one of these magnesium packets and you just let these dissolve in your mouth. It's like a booster. It's a fast absorption magnesium because you sweat all these minerals out, especially when it's hot. And the pharmacy here gave me uh, some samples. I ended up buying this package and then they gave me some others that have also vitamin B in them. I like them both. Uh, they seem to help me. If I take one after my 6K run, I did notice a difference also the next day. So again, three kinds of magnesium. The vitamin itself, the L3 on 8 that uh, comes with this one from Do Not Age, then the magnesium oil, and also the fast absorption packets during sports that you see some tennis players and athletes take uh, you know, while they're playing tennis. When I'm gonna play, I have a lot of things I do before. So if I've, I've got a match later this week at 10 in the morning. So in that morning, I, I'm not a morning person, so I really need to get myself going for that match. So what I'm gonna do is walk, uh, 1K, then I'm going to jog close to 1K, then I'm going to sprint the end of that, then I'm going to jump rope, and when I get to the courts, I'm going to do some line drills and some more stretching before I actually go out there and play and just get my feet moving. If I'm not getting that 6K run on the weekend, I don't have the stamina. I'm already tired when I've done all this warm up stuff, but I feel so great after the warm up, then I'm able to play my matches. So, all of this stuff works really well together to help you perform when you need it, when you need to tap into that high amount of exercise. Of course, eating healthy and getting lots of water, getting that hydration to absorb everything, to replenish uh, the water in your body when you're sweating, re replace all of that stuff, the salts, the minerals, also the water has minerals in it. So this helps to a huge degree. And of course, you're gonna feel a whole lot better when you're exercising than if you eat bad food before or after your workouts. So that's gonna bog you down. So a healthy diet is essential when you get into a very active lifestyle like I'm living. And of course, the no-brainer, sleep. No doubt about it, if I don't get a good night's sleep, I don't play well the next day, or it's super tough to get myself moving, even with all the fitness I'm doing. If I drink too much alcohol the night before, I don't sleep as well, and these things combine to really slow me down. So when I've got matches, zero alcohol, try to get to bed early. If I wake up at five or six, I try to get that extra one or two hours. I make sure I focus and concentrate and get back to sleep to make sure I'm well rested so that I can go through all of this regimen and routine and get out there and perform. The great thing is even approaching 60 years old, I'm moving around like a 40 year old. And I know because I play a lot of 40, 50 and 60 year olds and I know the difference in how they move. And everybody I play with classifies me as moving like a 40 year old. And I do believe it's this routine and this protocol that's helped me get there. Thanks for watching. I'll be sharing more with you soon.